Well, as you know, 1.20 came out yesterday, and a very gorgeous cinematic has been added to the launcher. If you click on play here, you can see uh, a new overlay, but it does have noise, and if you toggle this... That's a game changer. There's more reason to enjoy the new launcher. But this entire update has been overshadowed by something that occurred in the Minecraft space and is now under thorough investigation by a lot of people. If you play modded Minecraft or you've downloaded some mods from certain websites, in the last month or so, there is some chance that you have perhaps downloaded and run a virus into your system. I'm going to make this as accessible as possible because this is such important information to share with everyone. But the websites at play here are mainly CurseForge, DevBucket, and less so ModRinth. ModRinth evidently has not been compromised yet, although there's a chance that it might be. These are the three monster sites that host Minecraft mods. So what's happened here? There is a virus that has been promptly named Fracturizer that may have been installed into a mod called Better Minecraft. This is a very popular mod that is always updated. You've got the latest Warden update here. What has occurred is a user by the name of Fracturizer has injected malware into Better MC, which has then been re-uploaded into CurseForge. And the rest is pretty straightforward. It's worth noting Better Minecraft has been downloaded over 4 million times. If you've downloaded Better Minecraft within the last several weeks, it's very likely you may have this virus. Any re-uploaded version of this mod and any other mod that may be programmed by an infected user may have spread over to these other websites. So, what's the situation right now? If you have unwittingly downloaded and run Fracturizer on your system, it can unfortunately and rather quickly infect other jar files on your computer, which means, as you know, has the ability to steal login credentials and everything in between. This is an ongoing situation that is being investigated thoroughly, and I feel it is my job to tell you and everyone, please, be careful when downloading things on the internet. Anything. I absolutely want to thank everyone who has contributed to this website. It is so intuitive and so straight to the point. It's clearly written by someone who is from the internet age. If you have downloaded any mods from the following list, please check your system now, as you may have downloaded the virus. This is a list of mods. Better Minecraft, Medieval Minecraft, Prominence, Skyblock Core, When Dungeons Arise, Simply Houses, Sky Villages, Buried Barrels. Alternatively, here is another full list of 30 different mods that have been permanently taken down due to infection from this virus. Now, this is a non-exhaustive list. It is so important to tell you guys that this is non-exhaustive, meaning no one can currently confirm the safety of any given mod. Anything associated with .jar downloads from these websites could be infected, and the guys here involved are saying don't launch Minecraft at all, which I can't say. Famous last words, right? How do I fix this? You can follow this flowchart. I'm using Windows. The virus appears to create a fake directory called Microsoft Edge. That is Microsoft space Edge. Clearly, utilizing Microsoft Edge, the web browser, as a facade for its proliferation. If you do this and press enter here, and it opens the local directory of Microsoft, you're okay here. If you go back a step and find Microsoft Edge like this, you're fine. However, if you find a folder with Microsoft Space Edge, that may be a sign of infection. There's another program that you can run should you still be a little bit concerned. That is the extent of what is going on right now. It is a bit troubling, but it seems like everyone is now aware of what's happened and the nature of the virus. Let people close to you know about this, and as always, take care if you're on the internet.